today I wanted to give some quick tips. You've, you've probably heard me say these before on my channel, but why I'm repeating them is they're so important for your films. People send me their rough cuts all the time for their documentaries, and I see this happening over and over again. Right away when you make a documentary film, or, or any film for that matter, it's so important, like just right off the top of your film, to let people know what your character wants, what the person or the persons in your film is trying to achieve. This is so important because if you spend all this time up front doing beautiful shots or just showing us cool scenes from the city that you're filming in or whatever you're doing, you're wasting your audience's precious resource, which is their attention. So unless you're trying to get your film out to a niche audience, you need to make sure to grip people at the beginning. And the way you do that is you describe, show, tell the audience what your character wants. And, and recently we did a big contest in our Art of Documentary course where we had everyone, all the students, pitch their films. And the film that we chose was a really cool one called Big John by one of our students, Davide. Congratulations, he got $3,000 to go towards developing his film. And in this pitch contest, why we chose Davide's film is he clearly showed us right off the top in his film what his character wanted. And what these characters want in this film is it's a father and daughter, they're a team, and they're uncovering the world's largest triceratops, and they have to get it on display in a few months so that they can show the world this incredible dinosaur and have it sold. So there, right away, we know what his characters want. We're engaged as an audience. We want to see this film. And Davide, in his pitch for us, was able to identify this really quickly. So for you, if you're trying to sell a documentary film, if you're trying to get any sort of script, even if it's a narrative film or whatever that you're doing, you need to identify what your character wants, what they're trying to achieve. If your film is just beautiful shots, well, it's kind of cool after a while, but probably your family and friends are going to be the only people who care about it. If you're wondering why your work never gets to that next level, it might be because you're not helping a newcomer, someone who doesn't know your work or doesn't care about your work, showing them why they should care about your film. And having a character who needs something is the quickest way for people to start empathizing and wanting to find out more about your film. And you see, we talk about all this stuff in our Art of Documentary course. I know I've been talking a lot about our course in our academy lately, but I just love our course and our students. We had over 500 when we launched it. We just reopened it this week. We have a sale that might be done by the time you see this video, but it's going for 72 hours. But inside this course, we have everyone come together and we get to work on our films together. We've seen students take leaps and bounds in their career. Take, for example, Davide, who pitched that film. That was the first film he's ever pitched, but he went through our over 50 videos in our course was able to really understand what his character needed what his character wanted and was able to pitch that to us what, what you said uh, during the course was really helpful also to develop this story i learned uh, so much uh, because of you so that was davide man this ground is so crunchy let me sit down here but anyways if you're interested in taking the next step in your filmmaking, even if you're a 60 year veteran. We have amazing people in our community like Sebastian who was just over in Africa for six weeks filming a documentary there. There's so many amazing people taking their first steps or maybe their 10th or 100th steps in their career like me and Michael who get to run it and talk with you guys and give you feedback on your films. So when you're thinking of your next film, the first thing you should be thinking is, do I have a character who wants something. I always used to find this when I used to make my films. It was just my family and friends who would watch it online, but it wasn't until I started making films about more universal themes, about people wanting something that other people who didn't know me could identify with that character in my film. And that's when my filmmaking started changing. And that's when it became less about me and what I was doing and more about the story that I was telling. If you look at any of the documentary films we made in the past few years, Battleground, we know that Kwesi wants to make a film about the racial injustice in his country. Look at Transcend, Wesley Career, he had just won the Boston Marathon and he wanted more. He wanted to become the first independent candidate in, in Kenya to ever win a seat in the election. Look at our film, No Country is an Island. It was a group of people trying to find reconciliation 
situation in their country after there was this terrorist attack. Everyone in our films, we clearly define what our character wants and we follow them along that journey. So if you want to take that journey in your career, if you want to take the next steps to help improve your filmmaking or to help perfect your filmmaking, the art of documentary is for you. I talk about this a lot because I believe in it and I've seen so many students take huge steps towards their goals and what they're trying to do. So I'll put the link below for the art of documentary. If you have any more questions about filmmaking, leave them down below. That's what I'm here to do. I started my journey at a film school about 11 years ago and I found that there was no roadmap for filmmaking. So that's why I'm here on YouTube talking with you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any comments down below about filmmaking that you want to see. Make sure to go check out Art of Documentary. There's only 72 hours for the sale. And so I'll see you on the inside.